Rontalk is an email worm on Microsoft Windows that disables certain features, rebooting the system every time when a certain Windows string is detected, making it harder to remove for a Castle user. However, there are automated tools from the AV vendors to remove Rontalk, but in this video, we will be removing the A variant of Rontalk without using automatic tools. This worm blocks pretty much any string that has the potential to remove the worm, such as msconfig and regedit. It also frees up itself with the newly created users too. And also, there are warm processes. And also, the warm processes cannot be terminated, and it's also flagged at a critical process. Now, to remove, we have to use the syntax C trick. Since all B restrictions are from the local user, not the local machine. Now, to use the syntax C trick, go to C, Window, System32, and copy the CMD executable to the desktop. Rename it syntax C. And be sure you rename the original set hexy from the system32 folder to something else. In this case, I name it set hexy2. And now you can drop the set hexy on your desktop, which is the renamed CMD to the system32 folder. And after this, you go to control panel, user account, and create a new user, make it an administrator account, and now you can lock up. But since Brown Talk also reboot when the lockup string is detected, you will have to be quick, or the system will reboot, and you will have to wait until the system finishes its reboot sequence. Now we are sitting at the login screen. Press the sticky key button, or the shift key five time, which we will get this command from, meaning that we are now using the most highest privileges account ever, called system. And now from there, you can type break at it, which from there we can stop the worm from booting up, with the new user and also with Explorer or the Windows Shell. Go to Hickey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, Current Version, Win Lock On, and double click at the Shell Key. And you can remove the appended PIP file, which is the WOM. And after this, go to Hickey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows Current Version, Run and remove the malicious key pointing to shell new folder in the windows directory and all that is done then we can log into the newly created account that you have not logged in yet and congratulations you just defused the worm this can be confirmed by checking the task manager for processes like lss running under your user or simply running regedit if regedit is disabled on a new user and the system also reboot then the worm is still active meaning that you have to try again. And now if you pass this, go to the search and from there we will meet our old friend Rover from the failed Microsoft bot product. And now search for all that pip file and delete all the files that name empty. And after that, search for all that XCR file and delete everything that's named after you user with the word setting appended to it. And finally, search for all.exe file and delete everything that had the folder icon. Now, after that done, go to Folder Options, unhide all hidden folders, including system file. Then navigate to C, Document and Settings, your username, local settings, and application data. Delete all the folder.exe files in there. You have to repeat this process with every user you have. And now, delete the hidden pip file that are named randomly in the C Windows directory. It's easy to notice as it had the icon of ms. Dot and make sure this is not underscore default because that is from Microsoft Windows. And now after this, you can log up and log back into your usual account, which in this case I use administrator. And now you should be able to start the applications without the system rebooting. However, folder option and regedit is still disabled. But this can be fixed with two lines of command, which is shown on the screen. After this, regedit is enabled again, and if folder option is still not yet, then restart the explorer process. Download are still disabled. However, this can also be fixed by go to his key current user, software, Microsoft, window, current version, internet setting, zone, and number 3. 
Then, and after that, delete the key 1803. And now we can kill all time opening applications that make Roundtalk angry at. And now I'm proud that I am immune wife fire because of you, wife fire. I can also play solitaire. All of that without our system rebooting. Just to make sure, you can run antivirus and be careful next time when you open an email attachment or anything on a flash drive. That's it. Thank you for watching.